like to welcome everybody to City Chat. Uh, we do this um, every first Wednesday of the month. Uh, we invite people from the City of Lebanon to come join us at, around the table here at the Chamber, and we appreciate the Chamber letting us use the facility here and uh, also providing some good donuts too, so, and coffee. So we appreciate that very much. Uh, I was on the radio this morning and I was really talking about what all we have going on in our community. And uh, it's really a lot of different things, a lot of exciting things that show that our city is um, growing and moving forward on a lot of fronts. Um, we had a council meeting last night. It was uh, fairly short, about 15 minutes. And uh, we went through a good long agenda. Uh, the only big item that we had there, we had about three big items. Uh, one of them was annexation, um, first reading, so an annexation about 89 acres down uh, below Starbucks, down uh, uh, off of 840 down that way, Central Pike. Um, and that would be just an addition to that um, industrial park. But the other big thing we had was the second and final reading on the uh, 15 acres of, uh, donated by the Bell family out at Hamilton Springs uh, Station. We're, uh, we're in the middle of, uh, they've received bids back from the, um, for the new train stop. And um, so we're, the city's going to be working with uh, RTA and um, Hamilton Springs Group uh, on getting that uh, train stop built and kind of continuing our city becoming a more uh, transit oriented community and I think that is a huge uh, uh, well it's just huge for our city and the whole community uh, but it also kind of distinguishes us different from most any other communities here in Middle Tennessee and so we're very fortunate to have the Mew City Star but in this, the Bell family has donated us about 15 acres, and John, I think you uh, got a good picture of the uh, proposal of what could happen in that uh, 15 acres. We're looking at possibly a food court um, area for um, uh, what the vehicles. Uh, help me here. The uh, food, uh, trucks. food trucks, you know. Uh, but also the, an amphitheater, we're looking at a splash pad, we're looking at a pet park, we're looking at walking uh, trails and all, and a lot of other amenities here. Uh, I think the idea in the long range is to be able, as we get more and more um, opportunities for the train coming from Nashville to here, we're hoping that we will... Um, increase uh, be able to have events at this uh, area they can ride the train up from Mount Jewett, Hermitage, Donaldson, Nashville and come here to a concert and then maybe ride back so uh, as our train system can Mew City Star continues to expand with its opportunities and its service uh, this can become a, a very um, highly uh, visited uh, place for entertainment for our city. Uh, it can also become another place and venue that becomes real popular with the locals here for uh, different events similar to what we have here on the square. So we're really excited about this part. Um, on the radio this morning one thing I did talk about is in the future the city of Lebanon really needs to address the more soccer fields and uh, more ballparks. Uh, I was told that we have some like over 5,000 people that visit each week our soccer fields and we only have a limited number and they're getting worn down uh, because of all the traffic and we need as a city because we've had uh, 6,000 or more additional people that means a lot of kids that means our program has really expanded and we don't have the infrastructure and facilities to accommodate them. So our city's going to have to look at uh, what we're going to do on the uh, recreational front of the ballparks and the soccer fields. So along with uh, this park here. So, uh, you know, we went through a really hard time 
uh, economically um, during 2008 on through 12. Uh, but things are turning around now, and so it's now time, I feel like, that we need to really invest in our amenities for our community and for our citizens. Um, also, I've brought several uh, uh, posters of different things that we have going on in our city. One of them is the airport terminal. Uh, we're building it uh, out at the airport. They should be, hopefully we'll have it in December or January. Uh, G.C. Hickson and his office will um, um, rent the upstairs so that whenever we have corporate people fly in, he'll be right there to almost welcome them and um, have uh, better opportunities to meet them, showing Lebanon, telling what it's about for our industrial um, people that are coming to look at uh, this area. So we're excited about the airport and all the expansion, and we're hoping to also get a maintenance terminal out there and some more um, hangars uh, so that we can have more corporate people coming and visit. Um, this last week, we had the very fortunate um, uh, donation that was given by Mr. Hank McCall. I think he's 91 years old. He's developed around here, uh, helped develop Eastgate down at the 109 area. He's uh, been instrumental in the growth of Lebanon for years. Uh, years ago, they had given a piece of property um, uh, for a future fire hall. And I called him and asked him, I said, the location now is a little hard for us getting in and out, and we have to get out in the middle of the road to back in to the um, bays and all. And, so I asked him, could we sell that and then apply that money toward purchase of another property or something? He said, I don't know. I'll have to think on it. Uh, and then he can't called me back that next week. And he said, well, what I would like to do after he thought on this is I would like to donate this other piece of property that he had right across from the Wilson Bank and right there at 109 and um, East uh, division straight going there and it just floored me I mean that is a half a million dollar piece of property because of the location and the size and um, um, you know the land appraisals were right there at that uh, even before the new state appraisals came in so he just floored me but he said Lebanon's been good to me and I want to make this contribution and so this last week, a uh, week and a half ago, we made that land transfer. So uh, people like that who care about Lebanon, uh, that's what kind of helps drives Lebanon. It, you know, it shows what kind of people are, are here and involved in the community and, you know, people that really care about the future of Lebanon. So we appreciate Mr. Hank McCall and his son, uh, Henry, uh, for uh, that donation. We have a contractor already uh, signed up, ready to go. We're doing a little bit of uh, re-engineering on the site, but uh, we'll be moving on that new um, fire hall down at the uh, 109 Leville Pike area uh, that is, should have been, in my opinion, built three or four years ago at least. Uh, we have so many homes and residential down there and factories our calls, the majority of our calls end up going to that area and um, that leaves other areas unprotected. Uh, we have uh, a lot of, uh, uh, hello, come join us, how you doing? Come on in. Uh, all right, look at that little fella. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we have a, ISO rating of three quarters of our city of being a two. And so those people in those areas have insurance uh, rates that save them quite a bit of money over the people that live down at 109 and Stonebridge and that area because they have a rating of a nine or a 10 because we don't have the service. So once we get this built, we're gonna be saving people in that area quite a bit of money. We're gonna be insuring the faster response time to those that community down there and all. Oh, you're great. Sorry. You are great. Um, 
Pet Park. <laughs> Here we are. That's why I came. All right. <laughs> you just did it perfect. And who's, perfect timing. And who's our little friend? This is Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, you look fantastic. How you doing? <laughs> I bet you're excited about this. Uh, Pet Park is over by New Leash. Uh, last night uh, we had on the agenda to um, waive the fees that go to uh, New Leash for their new facility. But the other property right beside it is uh, where it used to be the old peak shaving, saving uh, plant for the gas converting propane into natural gas. And um, so now uh, we've got the pet park area, large dogs, small dogs. We're going to end up having a shelter area. Uh, we've got obstacles inside the area, and uh, I think it's going to be really great. Uh, we're going to also enable people to be able to take their dog on leash and walk on the trails and kind of do a circle up there by sellers and come around and all. Uh, new leash, they look at um, having their pets uh, dogs uh, all there available so if somebody wants to come and just jog or walk with a dog uh, they they can and then they get through they can turn, give it back or maybe they'll adopt a pet so it's a good partnership with um, New Leash and the pet park there I know a lot of people have been wanting this um, been hearing about the need for it for years and um, so through donations and uh, through the city working with us, uh, letting us use the property and uh, a little bit of manpower from the city, but also donations from individuals and from the rodeo, we're being able, we're going to have this. And uh, I was hoping middle of September, but time's moving too fast for them, but we're still working on it. We're getting real close. We're looking at the signage there now. So really excited about it. So would that be possibly at the same time as Bark in the Park that that'll open? Uh, I don't know when is. Um, Isn't that usually in May? In the spring? Oh no! Spring. Well, I, yeah. I'm hoping that we get this if it's done fall this so fall. Fall. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. So maybe more like October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. I mean, we're that close. It, it's getting really, really close. Uh, senior citizens. If y'all have ever been to the senior citizens, uh, the place is packed. People have a great time. They get a great meal and um, it, it changes the lives of our seniors right there. Uh, it just enriches them, gives them something to go to and be a part of. Um, but we're, we have uh, raised something like $165,000 uh, through contributions to go to this addition. We think the addition will be 350 or four. I think council, they'll come up with those extra dollars. They've already committed that they will once we get a firm number. And uh, that will increase the area for not only increase our kitchen capacity, but also our dining area, plus our workouts and all. So it, it's part of growing and our city is really growing. And this is one thing you take care of your kids, but you also take care of the seniors. So, uh, animal control. Um, we'll be having an open house soon uh, up at the ESU building up by the fairgrounds right there. We took an old building and have converted it into uh, the shelter for, for the animal cats and dogs. Uh, we have, I forget how many um, uh, stalls that we can put them in, about 24, 25, as opposed to that little cramp little building across from the uh, at public works at the across from the football stadium you know how small that is this here is air condition it's very well you know, it's going to be awesome so hope everybody will come join us look at that uh, paving and drainage we're continuing if if you've uh, been anywhere around you're seeing good good new paved streets um black black pavement down all over and uh, we this year we spent about a million and a half dollars out of general fund to try to help really catch up from where we were really behind from years past. Uh, uh, when the recession hit we had to really slow down cut back to keep our budget in in the black. Uh, now the revenues are coming back and uh, stronger. The city is stronger now than it has ever been in its history. Uh, our revenues and reserves are higher. Um, our sales tax 
our uh, highest they've ever been recorded. Um, and our other revenues in construction and everything is, we're really a busy and moving city. Uh, gasification, we had the uh, one picture right there. October 13th, we plan to have a major, major, um, um, what do we call it? It's not a ribbon cut. It's no, we're doing an open house date. Open event. house date, October 13th. We're going to meet out at Jack Lowry's hangar, and they're going to provide uh, lunch, and then we're going to have buses. They'll take over and look at the uh, gasification facility, and we're partnered with uh, Ground Up, and, uh, which is a division of LoJack, and uh, they're all working with us. But uh, the main goal of this has been to divert uh, waste going into the landfills, and that waste, though, is being converted in through the gasification program, uh, downdraft, and it's uh, going to generate electricity to offset our fifty to sixty thousand dollar a month bills at the sewer plant. So we're meeting several goals. We're going to make money. We're going to divert waste to the landfills, which the states are putting uh, mandates on us to make certain achievements over time and we're uh, reducing our cost of operation at the sewer plant so uh, we're really and local factories of where we're picking up a lot of this material all of a sudden this becomes recyclable and so they're able to meet their goals that their corporate headquarters is putting down on them so i mean this has ended up a win-win-win all the way across the whole city of lebanon and so really excited about the gasification. It's going to be something that is known about, and it's already being publicized overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had That's people uh, all over the United States. We've had people come in already. We've had Bridgestone coming in and looking. Uh, we've had people down in Georgia, I know, and uh, overseas coming in and looking. Uh, I mean, this is going to be huge. It's kind of like Baker's Aer Aeronautics. You don't realize how big it is, but they bring in so many people here every every uh, week and all. So, so when will, I know that um, the open house is in October. When will you guys start going live? Well, we're uh, uh, already doing some startup phases mm -hmm. right now, and um, so um, they're finishing doing certain things. I think they burned out the boiler this week, or, or I believe it was this week that they were doing it. So uh, they're they're doing their process. So excited about it. Uh, also, uh, out here uh, going toward Watertown, just about a mile and a half, we've put together about 330 acres of land that we're looking. Uh, it's already gone through planning for approval for rezoning. Uh, we're going to be annexing and rezoning that acreage. And uh, it's and we're also going through what we call a certificate of need from the state. And with that, uh, we'll be basically have a piece of property that is close to the interstate, that uh, has rail service, has the water, electric, and everything, and the entrance and all. Uh, and with that certificate of need, we end up having. Uh, down at Nashville, they'll be helping us sell this property and bringing us the next level of good jobs to Lebanon. And so we're really excited to, about that. That's about nine or ten things that we have going on. That's just the tip of the iceberg of what do. But these are some of the big ones. Just wanted to come and tell what all we have going on. And uh, uh, any questions? Anybody? Yeah? Well, I, I know you have some really exciting projects, in, and I, I heard you saying we are going to want to invest back in. And um, how, how are we doing on our rainy day fund then? Well, right sense. now, our, um, uh, we are stronger financially than we've ever been. We have more money uh, reserves in the bank. Uh, uh, so we're a Moody service rating of a cap, uh, a a2, and uh, uh, that's really strong for us. Uh, in the uh, enterprise funds, we have uh, gas, probably about $8 million, and the water and sewer, about 8 
when I came here, we had uh, just over about a million and a half in uh, gas, and we would have to borrow money to buy the allotment for gas for that coming year. Now we just pay cash for it, and we have a larger reserve. Uh, we've made uh, changes in our water and sewer so that now residentially we don't expect having to raise uh, water rates for the citizens for the next five years. Uh, there was a philosophy of years ago that um, you industries and all paid real less for the more they use. Well, it still costs us the same to produce that. And every time we'd have an increase, it was a higher, harder effect on our citizens than it really was on the factory. So we've changed the way that we our increases in water, so on, on industry and all, and that way it relieved the burden on the citizens. And also, at one time, we had a 3% increase that was supposed to go into effect, and because of the way we've redone everything, uh, we, we dropped that 3% where we didn't have to include it. Plus, for the last three years, I don't know of any other city that has ever done this, but we have given a rebate or, um, back to our citizens of about $35. So that's over a million dollars out of the utilities that we've done. We have spent a, a lot of this money here that we have is uh, going in to make sure that we uh, continue to uh, improve our infrastructure. And we're going to need a new water tire at some point. And right now we'll be able to pay cash for it. And so that, that's what we're after, make the city stronger financially and on solid ground. That way we can help and do more for the citizens. So. Anything, y'all? I, I, I just talk. Okay. Well, what kind of timeline are we looking at? And I know those are just benchmarks. What kind of benchmarks are we hoping to hit? With? Well, uh, they should be letting out the um, uh, train stop, and we've got a picture up there of uh, the um, Helm Springs stop. Um, uh, they should be letting that out pretty soon. Uh, and since they got the bids in, they're just kind of finalizing. Uh, this right here, I'm thinking that what we're going to need to do is uh, put together a, a group of uh, citizens and uh, kind of, this is conceptional, but I, I feel better of having some uh, people that are in the community kind of come together and let's uh, talk about it, what, what we really like to see, but, uh, uh, and what we want to achieve with this part too. So. And that's a good segue to the vision committee with the survey. We mm -hmm. have an online survey out right now that's on our website that you can go as a citizen and, and complete. And there's questions on there about what type of amenities you're looking for within the city. So if you're looking for more parks or you're looking for more greenway or more trails, yeah. um, that's a great place to put that input. Yeah, and go to uh, uh, our website. It's on the front page, I said. Mm -hmm. so. It's uh, LebanonTN.org. Yeah, so a lot going on. Our square down here is still churning along and I think getting good comments from people and businesses are doing good. We just need, we're we'll keep working. So, uh, appreciate everyone coming and uh, we'll hang around and talk a little bit more. And for sure, I want to talk to Mr. Wilson and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, might need to go animal. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get too far. That's yeah. what I was hoping. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, but uh, thank you for joining us. John, thank you. We appreciate your service.